Okay guys, today we are doing some more examples on a graphical analysis of limits. I posted the first video uh, in my AB Calculus AB playlist. Uh, this is the second one and these are just more examples of uh, limits so you can have a good idea. A graphical um, analysis of limits using the graph find the value of each of the following limits if a limit does not exist state y so we have to be very careful on that one guys if they say give them a reason then we have to give them a reason this is important okay uh, question a limit x approaches negative 3 from the left of f of x from the left of f of x so this is my graph and they said negative 3 so I know my negative 3 is right here and this is the left side of negative 3 this portion is the left of negative 3 and also my graph on the left of negative 3 is right there you know we look for the graph on the left of negative 3 if they are asking for left so this is graph from the left. So if I'm going from the left right there and I have to approach, I have to approach negative three and you can tell this is, there is a hole and when I still going, keep going, going, going right there and I'm going in this direction. My graph is continuously going because they have this arrow. And this is my vertical asymptote at negative 3. So I cannot cross this vertical asymptote, but I'm still going to go continuously in this direction. So what is the y value when my graph is going in this direction for x equal negative 3 or x approaches negative 3? I can say equal. It's negative 3 approach. So I'm going to go all the way in this direction and it's positive infinity. The y value is positive because up here the y values are all positive. So this one is positive infinity. And always box your answers on the AP test, guys. This is good. B, limit x approaches negative 5. They never mention left or right, so which means I'm going to do both of f of x. So my negative 5, where is negative 5? This is negative 5. And they said limit approaches negative 5 from left and right. Okay, I'm going to use a different color this is negative 5 okay I'm going the left side of negative 5 is right there and this is the left graph of negative 5 so if I go in this direction going in this direction I stop right here because that's a hole and this is where I'm approaching negative 5 this is negative 5 I don't have negative 5 equal something like f of negative 5 equal I don't have it it's a hole but I am approaching really, really arbitrarily close to negative 5. Okay, so when I round it up that negative 5, my value is going to be like if you guys clearly can see it, like my line is going up here for the y value. But when you round it up, it's going to be 3.999 something. So if I round it up, that would be 4. So my answer for this is 4. And I'm sorry, I didn't go from the right side so that was the left now I go from the right side and I approach 5 right there and again this is exactly going to be 4.001 because this is where I'm going right there so when you round it up it's 4 so my answer is 4 why I'm doing arbitrarily close here because I don't have exactly what f of negative 5 is okay like I don't have a y value it's a whole x approaches negative uh, 1 and again they didn't mention left and right so I have to give them both my negative 1 I'm going to use a different color my negative 1 is this okay so if this is negative 1 then I know my graph when I approach from left and right for negative 1 is going to be that one okay so let's approach on the from the left first Okay, so this is the left side of negative 1. And you see this is the graph on the left of negative 1. Why I'm not using that one? Because I do have a graph on the left right there. 
but I'm not using this one because this one doesn't even approach negative one. It's going towards infinity and approaching negative three or negative five, but not negative one. Negative one is connected with this graph. So if I'm going from the left uh, and approach negative five, so I'm sorry, negative one, then left of negative one is going to be this. I'm going in this direction from left, negative one right there, negative one, negative one, negative one from the left. And do you see this is a, a closed circle? It's not a hole. So it, it means if it's a closed circle, I do have f of negative one, which is negative one in, here, in this case. Like I do have a point there, exactly the y value, which is negative one. Okay, so now I'm gonna go from the right. So this is my right and I'm approaching, this is the right side and that's the graph that we use uh, for negative one approaches from the right. So when I get there, again, it's gonna be negative one. So the answer for this one from the left and right both, it's negative one. If the left and right limits are not exactly the same number, like in this case, I have a negative one. And in this case, I had a four, so we're okay. But if it's not the same from left and right, then limit does not exist. Okay, let's try and see. Uh, then A, B, C is supposed to be D, but that's okay. Uh, limit X approaches negative three from left to right F of X. So again, from both sides. So my negative three from both sides I'm going to do. Let me erase all the stuff that we did. So we can clearly draw what's going on. Okay, let's see it. Now, negative three from left and right. So let's do left. You can do right either way, it's okay. I don't know why I start with left. So this is negative three from the left, and this is the left side. And I'm going to pick this graph, okay? And we already know when we did negative three from the left, it's going positive infinity, that one. So I'm just gonna keep in mind that's a positive infinity. You know, left, negative three, Right there, it's going all the way up here. So negative three, positive infinity, going right of uh, negative three. Now, if you check on the right side of negative three is this portion. And I have two graphs on the right side, one that one and one this one. So which one I should pick? This one, because this is the one approaching really close to negative three. So when I go and approach negative three from the right, I'm going negative infinity. So. If one is positive infinity and another one is negative infinity, it means the limit does not exist. And I have to give them a reason, okay? State why. So I'm gonna have does not exist. And make sure you have D and E and you have these dots between them on the AP test. So I'll give them a reason why. I can write it down here because, you can write because like this on the AP test, that's fine, limit x approaches negative 3 from the left of f of x the left was positive infinity okay so is not equal limit x approaches negative 3 from the right so the limit does not exist and this is my reasoning i don't have to you can write it in english but this one looks better on the ap test and you get points for this Limit x approaches 2 from the left, and they said positive 2. So I'm going to go positive 2 from the left. This is my positive 2, and I'm going from the left. Yes, left. So this is 2. Left side graphs are all of these. Now, which one is really close approaching to 2? It's this graph. So when I go from the left side, I'm going to go in this direction. Do you see you have a point right there? It's a closed circle, so your y value is exactly one. Approach is two from the right. This is two, and the right side graph is this one. I can't, this is only graph that approaching two from the right side. So if I go and approach two right there, you know I'm going arbitrarily close, I'm gonna pick something here, and when you round it up, it's gonna be six, right? So that one is six. Limit x approach is 2. Now, since we already got left and right, and this 2 means positive 2 from both sides. So, and we already have left and right from both sides on this graph. So, do you see the limits are exact, I mean, completely different? Like this is 1 and this is 6, which means the limit does not exist. And you can give them because limit 
x approaches x approaches uh, f of x x approaches 2 from the left of f of x is not equal limit x approaches 2 from the right of f of x so they are not equal that's why it not, does not exist limit x approaches negative infinity okay so if we pay attention here for the negative infinity let's try negative infinity here i'm going to erase all of that let's try negative infinity so this is my x-axis negative infinity this one right there that's my x-axis negative infinity so if my graph is going towards negative infinity what is my y value and you can tell when i i'm, I'm going to pick this graph because this is the only one on the left side going towards infinity you can tell this is going towards infinity right there and i have a vertical as uh, i'm sorry horizontal asymptote the horizontal asymptote is 2 which means this line is not going to cross this horizontal asymptote it's going to touch it go along with it but not um, cross it so the limit is 2 when it approaches negative infinity x approaches positive infinity positive infinity the only graph i see that approaching positive infinity is this one the x approaches you do understand this x up this is approaching y value positive a positive y uh, value which is positive infinity but this one is approaching the x approaches positive infinity which is this graph and uh, you can tell this graph i don't have a whole asymptote or anything up here but it's just kind of continuously going in this direction you know the arrow means continuously going so if i'm going in this direction you know i'm going to go positive infinity because that's what the up here the y value is nine when it, 8 sorry when it continuously going it's going to be 9 10 11 I don't know where it stops it's infinite so it's going to be positive infinity for that one okay uh, let's try one more right there and then find the value of each of the following limits using the graph of g of x if limit does not exist state y so again I have to state it negative 3 from x, limit x approaches negative 3 from the left of g of x this is my negative 3 and i'm approaching from the left so this is the left side of negative 3 now let's uh, let's let's think about this if i'm approaching negative 3 you know that the graph that really really approach negative 3 is this one right this one is negative 4 if you guys pay attention this one is negative 3 so I'm gonna go and get the le left of negative 3 here and I'm gonna go arbitrarily close and my arbitrarily close is gonna be 0 so this one is 0 x approaches negative 6 left and right both of g of x so 6 this is my 6 let's pick that as a 6 and I'm going left and right both so this is my left you know that's a six and this is a left side so i'm going to pick this graph i'm going six uh, left and i approach right there and when i go from the right i'm going to approach the same way and you know that's a closed uh, circle that's a point it's a defined point so uh what is my from they said positive six i'm sorry that was negative six my bad negative six so no not that one negative six let's do negative six negative six is right here okay so i'm gonna go negative six left so you know this is negative six and when i go left of negative six this is the graph that we're gonna consider okay that's on the uh, that's where the six approaches negative six so if i go from the left of negative six you know negative six is right there that's the y value which is negative 4 when i go from the right side i'm going to approach the same number which is negative 4 so this one is negative 4. limit x approaches negative 1 from the right side my negative 1 is right there and when i approach from the right side this is the right side of the graph that approaches negative 1 this is negative 1 i stop there my y value is 2 x approaches negative 3 from the right 
so let's try negative 3 from the right this is negative 3 and I'm going from the right side the right side is right there this is the right side graph when I approach I arbitrarily close to 0 so that one is 0 x approaches 4 uh, from the left so this is the 4 and you know 4 has a vertical asymptote right there so if I am approaching 4 from the left this is the left side graph that 4 has when I approach uh, 4 from the left you can tell you know this is a whole it's not even continuously going like this one so if it was continuously going then I would say negative infinity but it's not it's just stop right there and that's a whole it's undefined which means that's uh, uh, 4 from the left is not even on the graph so you're gonna say does not exist you can say does not exist because this graph does not because this graph does not exist like it's not approaching 4 at all okay limit x, uh, x approaches 4 from the right side of g of x now this is 4 and when I pick this graph and approach right side and go all the way you know it's going to continuously going in this direction in uh, my vertical asymptote it's not going to cross that so it's going positive negative infinity because this is the y x y values negatives all of them x approaches 4 left and right both so positive 4 left and right we already got positive 4 left and right so because this one doesn't even there the graph the 4 is not even there's no graph for it this one is negative infinity so we can say does not exist because limit x approaches 4 from the left is not okay x approaches x approaches 4 from the left of g of x is not equal limit x approaches 4 from the right of g of x so it's not equal x approaches negative 4 from the right so let's try I'm going to erase that and we do negative 4 okay x approaches negative 4 which is right there and they said from the right side so negative 4 is this and right side graph is this one right so if I approach negative 4 from the right side I'm gonna go here and that's a defined point but if you check this point is like right there be oh it's not straight but it's between here which means I can say negative 2.5 okay negative 4 from the left this is negative 4 and the left side graph on negative 4 is that one because this is the only one approaching negative 4 right there do you see I have to check where my graph is approaching whether it's approaching to that x that I'm looking for or whether it's not it has to approach like either arbitrarily close open circle close circle but it has to be there the graph the, the x value has to be there on the graph so if I'm approaching negative 4 from the left arbitrarily close right there negative 4 which will round it up to negative 6 so if you guys have any questions comment below I will make another video for you guys specifically on your question and uh, please like the video and subscribe thank you